Hi there. So we're getting this question a lot where people want to offer people currently on subscriptions with them a period of time where they have access for free. So there's a number of ways that this can be done and I figured I'd just shoot a video that'll show you how you can do this. So what I'll do is I'll share my screen here. Now, the first thing is we need to find a product um, to use in as, as an example. So let's just say this bronze membership discounted, which is $60 every month. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this purchase link. I'm gonna go into a new tab, make sure I'm logged out here, um, and purchase this product. Okay, so now if we go to the manage members screen, we see that there's that new account was just created. And if I click into here and I go to the subscriptions tab, we'll see that they're being billed $60 every month and the next rebuild date is April 23rd. So the scenario is essentially that you wanna be able to push this next rebuild date out. You wanna give them more time before their next billing date than the currently stated billing date. So the easiest way to do this is um, if you're on a, if you have an advanced plan with us and you're using, and the subscription is through a card on file solution like Stripe, Braintree, or authorized.net CIM, when you go to the subscriptions tab, you'll see this pencil. And when you click on it, you, you can just set the rebuild date to anything else. So let's just say I wanna push this out a month so I'll set it to May 23rd, save that. And now this customer won't be billed till May 20, 23rd. So that is the easiest way to do it. Now, if you don't have um, the advanced plan with us and you're still using card on file solutions like Stripe, Braintree or authorized.net CIM, then the next best thing you can do is create a new product with the appropriate trial period. So let me just actually, before I do that, in this account, let's just say, let me set this back to, let's say that this person is gonna be billed April 1st, okay? And we want, we don't want them to be billed, um, and let's assume that today is April 1st, just to make the math easy. But, it, but essentially, we wanna push out the billing date, let's say, um, two months. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go and create a new product. And I actually have already done this. So you see here, I created a bronze membership catch-up plan. And the configuration of this is, it's associated with the same access rights. So it's still associated with the bronze membership discounted membership level. The price is still $60 a month. The subscription is still $1 a month. The difference is that there's a trial. The trial price is $0 and the trial period is two months. Okay, so once you've created that product, then all you need to do for the member whose billing date you wanna push out two months, just go to their access rights, cancel their membership, or their bundle, this could be either it, it depends on what the product is associated with, whether it's a bundle or membership level. You basically come to the access rights tab, cancel the access that they have, which effectively will cancel their current subscription, and then immediately uh, activate it again. And this time you would select the new product, the catch-up plan product, and bill card on file. And this is why it's important that if you're gonna do it this way, uh, you need to have card on file functionality because otherwise you've just canceled your, their account and access, but now you can't reactivate it and reactivate their payment plan. You could obviously reactivate it for free, like you could, you could comp it, but that's not what we were trying to do. So you want, bill and card, you want card on file functionality in order to do the specific scenario that I'm talking about now. So we'll go ahead and do that. Bill card on file. And now we see their accounts reactivated. And if we go to the subscriptions tab, we see their next rebuild date is two months, two months out. Okay, so that's the second way to do it. <clears throat> the, the next ways to do it 
um, is if it is if you're not if you don't have card on file functionality with the payment services you're using, you can essentially just send. You still want to create a product that has the two months free or or however month however long the free trial free free period you want is, and then you would send the purchase link to the customer so that they could buy that product themselves. And of course, since you're giving them something to, for free, they'll be highly motivated to do this. Um, now keep in mind uh, that if they have an active subscription, if you're doing this with, mem if, the, if that subscription is associated with a membership level, you can send this link to the customer and they can buy it and then Member Mouse will automatically cancel the existing subscription and start the new subscription with this new product. But if it's on a bundle, that's not gonna work because upgrade downgrade functionality isn't, uh, doesn't apply to bundles. So uh, if you're going to be working with bundles, the best way to do that is on the member's account. So this account, has bundle on it. So on this account, you would pause the bundle, okay? Because pausing the bundle will effectively, it'll cancel the subscription, but it won't cancel access. So um, they will continue to have access. And now you just have to set a reminder in the future to send them a link to restart their subscription this is obviously the least uh, desirable way to do it because you know, it, it requires the customer to re-sign up at a time when they have to pay something which they may or may not decide to do. So I, I've gone through the different options and the order of best way to do it, an ideal way to do it. Um, and really working with card on file solutions like Stripe, Braintree, and Authorized.NET CIM, it makes it really easy for you to do it um, and make adjustments to the customer's account without them having to get involved. So hopefully you found this helpful and uh, let us know if you have any more questions about it. All right, thanks.